Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to this asana exploration class that's all about how to do easy backbends. Backbends are never easy, but these are going to be as easy as it gets. And I'll teach you good technique, good alignment, and good anatomical principles so that you'll know exactly how to work your backbends. If you're not a subscriber yet to my YouTube channel, you should totally be a subscriber so we can practice every day. Like and comment on this video and let me know how your backbends went. When you're ready to do backbends, close the eyes, bring your hands together in a comfortable seated position. As you exhale, let's softly open the eyes. And I want you to start off in a kneeling position, which might seem weird for working on back bends, but it's all gonna make sense very soon. So we'll start off in a kneeling position. And I want you to have access to your whole spine. If there are any issues with your knees, you can sit in a chair or just in any comfortable seated position as well. Uh, so I want you to have access to the whole spine. And this is our first lesson in the practice today is that back bending happens through the entire spinal column from the tip of the tailbone to the top of the head. So let's focus on articulating the spinal axis. From the tip of the tailbone into the sacrum, into the lower back, into the middle back, into the upper back, into the cervical spine, and into the top of the head. And then exhale, round the back. Good. So I want you to arch your whole spine in a fluid motion, closing the front of the hip joints and looking lightly up. Exhale, round. Very good. So we're feeling that the tailbone slightly elevates back, the lower back, the middle back, the upper back, and the cervical spine. And then exhale, round. Let's do that one more time and we're gonna interlace the fingers. Inhale, interlace the fingers right around the sacrum as you lean forward. Slowly lift the ribs away from the hips and then exhale, change your hands and round. Very good. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the hands and knees, which you might know as cat and cow. Inhale, extend the spine. A long, deep breath in. Exhale, round all the way under. Two more times. Inhale, extend. A long, deep breath in. Exhale, round and under. Inhale, extend. Remember the whole spine is involved. Exhale, round and under. Good job. Back to neutral. And now you're gonna turn the knees over to the side. Exhale, let's sink the hips down. I want you to roll your spine down. All right, now that the spine is rolled down, I'd like you to grab the bolster and then we're gonna lift the hips up and slide the bolster under. Oh, that feels nice. So we have the feeling of a supported bridge because the knees are bent and the pelvis is elevated and the hands just drape out to the side. And this is as supported as the bridge pose is really gonna get. So we can add more complexity to this by grabbing a block, lifting the hips a little bit higher and sliding the block on top of the bolster and then placing the sacrum. Can I get that in a good place? It'll be all right. Placing the sacrum on the block. Then drawing the knees a little bit inward to make sure that the, that the hip joints don't externally rotate too much so we can make kind of a nice solid bridge. This position, since it's a little bit higher, I'd like you to roll the shoulder blades kind of towards, towards the center line, not necessarily towards each other, but kind of down the back and a little bit inwards, and then press the palms sort of upwards so we can kind of, or point the fingers upwards and let the palms face each other. Now we start to activate, and we'll hold this for five breaths. So we have one. Try not to activate the neck, but instead use the shoulders and kind of get space between the ribs and the hips. So we have three, four, and five. Now we're gonna slide the block out. So you'll notice I'm activating my legs. I'm sliding the block out, placing it over to the side. And then we stay here for a moment, kind of let everything rest. Then lightly lift the hips and move the bolster completely out. Now we settle all the way down. Notice how the back feels after this motion, how the front body feels. The legs could be working quite strongly. 
Now let's take that up a notch without the assistance of the props. And we're going to send the knees a little forward, coming up just lightly. Be careful not to flatten the back here. So we'll interlace the fingers, and this will help kind of move the shoulder blades down the back a little bit. And then let yourself just be a little bit elevated. Then be sure that you don't flatten the back. What I mean by that is don't tuck the tailbone to just jam the pelvis up. Let the pelvis kind of hang. Let's actually swing the hips from side to side. I know that seems weird, but just see, that'll give you a little feeling in the pelvis. Good, come back to the center. The legs are a little bit burning. It's okay. That's what will support your back bend. Now, I'd like you to engage the muscles of that, the, the core muscles that so, are sort of surround the spine. These are the erector spinae. Then, use the erector spinae and a little bit of quadricep action to move the chest towards the chin. Ooh, my legs are burning. Yes, let's say hello to that and work for two, three, four, and five. Now we sink the butt down and then release from the shoulders. Ooh, that was actually quite hard. Let's bring the knees to one side and bring the knees to the other side. Come back to the center. Walk the hands a little bit in. Good. All right. Now I want you to hold on to your ankles. And sometimes I think my arms are not super long, so I can't easily hold my ankles. I can kind of touch them, but I'll show you a little trick and maybe you need it too. We're going to lift the pelvis a little bit forward and then slide the shoulders under. We're already in the back bend shape now, so we soften a little bit the hips, draw the knees towards each other, and then do a little bit of activation in the legs to push the chest. And the feeling that we want to have here is that the ribs lift away from the hips and the knees spiral in. Stay two more breaths. One more breath. And then exhale. Let's put it down. Your heels can come off as you come down. Good. And this time we're going to draw the knees into the chest. Stay there for a moment. A deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then exhale. Let's put it down. All right, I'm going to help you do a back bend with another assistance. We're going to start off this time with the head on the block. Oh, and you're thinking, oh no, this is a really uncomfortable pillow. <laughs> Don't worry, we're not going to sleep here. We're going to do back bend. Remember, I'm just going to free my hair. Hold on. Now, let's put the head on the block. All right, got it. Now, we're going to use external rotation of the shoulders, which is a little bit advanced. So we try. Find your external rotation. So we're going to slide the fingers, the thumbs around the corner of the block, draw the elbows towards each other. Now we're going to repeat the same rest of the same action as a simple bridge. So we just do a little up with the pelvis. Remain, remember to avoid flattening the spine like that. Little up with the pelvis, then roll through to the top of the head. All right, and we're just going to stay here. Draw the elbows in and we'll stay. We've got two, three, Four, you could keep extending the spine. And now, little bit, head off the block. Head on the, but it didn't happen, it's okay. Keep the elbows in, little head off the block. Head back on the block. Head off of the block, and we are now in Urdhva Dhanurasana. Nice, and stay here. We've got two, three, four, and five. Exhale, head back on the block. Let's roll down, and then slowly, Remove the block. All right. Let's draw the knees into the chest. Let your back release. Keep the mind calm. A deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good. Roll a little from side to side. Tune into the work of back bends for today. And then roll over to the side. Inhale, come on back up to a comfortable seated position. Let's close the eyes, extend the arms, tips of the index fingers touching. Five deep breaths. One. Two, steady breathing. Three. Four. Five. Gently bring the hands together. A long, deep breath in. Ooh. 
As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love.